The Lordstown Energy Center on Route 45 has been using natural gas to generate electricity for five years now. And right next door, the land has been cleared for a second plant. And the company that owns them both wants part of the land rezoned from residential to industrial. The decision is up to Lordstown Village Council, which is yet to decide. But at a public meeting this evening, people weren't so much concerned about the zone change as they were about issues at the plant that is operating. It's our top story tonight at 10. Along Route 45 in Lordstown, right next to the Lordstown Energy Center, land has been cleared for a second power plant. But among the pipes and heavy equipment, part of the land is zoned residential. And Clean Energy Future, which owns the plant and is building the new one, wants it changed to industrial. But I do not have a problem with re, uh, personally rezoning this one area. Lordstown Mayor Arno Hill was the only speaker supporting the zone change, which is for 34.7 acres that fronts Route 45, adjacent to where the second plant is being built. And we are right behind this. Lordstown's Mark McGrail did not speak against the zone change, but against the way the current plant is operating. The plant that's operating is a noise nuisance. The switching station they installed is a light nuisance. McGrail asked Village Council to delay the rezoning until the nuisance issues are addressed. Larry Tura lives southeast of the plant. And there are nights that it howls away. Tura wants clean energy future held accountable. You guys need to hold them to 100% of the zoning laws that are on the books today. And that's barriers and sound and whatever else it takes to make them stay in compliance. Danielle Watson wondered why this was coming up now. Why was this not rezoned previously to the groundbreaking ceremony? Because usually everything's done before there is an actual groundbreaking ceremony. Mayor Hill said it was a public hearing and council was under no obligation to answer questions. Representatives of Clean Energy Future were in attendance but did not speak. At its regular meeting following the public hearing, Lordstown Village Council moved the zone change through a first reading. It will likely make it through three readings before a vote is taken, and that puts it at June the 5th. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.